call now and try out our three-week human vacation program where you can possess a real human being for up to three weeks. Hi, welcome to Natural Human Facts, brought to you by Lobotomy Incorporated. With this course, we'll teach you everything you need to know about human beings, from blending into their society to easy and delicious recipes. But before we begin the program, we'd like you to listen to some important words from our company's founder. Thanks for listening. Alright everyone, ready to get started? Let's go ahead and jump into this week's topic. Skin As many of you may know, human organs are very complex and take a lot of knowledge to control properly. But to start off, we're just going to cover the basics. This lesson's top 5 facts about human skin are 5. It's edible 4. Skin is not considered clothing 3. Lots of things are bad for your skin 2. Skin is alive and has emotions And 1. Don't tear it off The first thing you may already know about human skin is that it's considered a delicacy by essentially every entity in the Conceptiverse. Despite the fact that skin grows back after being eaten or removed, you may be surprised to learn that it's considered taboo in most human cultures to consume it in front of others. Remember, no matter how good it may smell, don't eat your own skin when inhabiting a human body. One of the coolest things about skin is that it covers nearly every inch of the human body. Most would assume that this amazing organ is all the biological coding you would need to walk around and converse with other humans. But for reasons we as of yet don't understand, it's actually considered extremely offensive to walk around in human skin without first covering it in objects that humans call clothing. Be sure to put on clothing before going out in public or conversing with other humans. Human skin is a picky customer when it comes to the environments it prefers, and it gets really frustrated and can even die if you put it in the wrong place. Be sure to keep your possessed human skin free of fire, radiation, animal bites, acid, and anything else that makes it unhappy. Speaking of making skin unhappy, were you aware? Human skin has emotions and is even alive. It can secrete a clear, viscous fluid when upset or nervous, and can make its hair dance when the human is excited or ready for sexual activity. Be sure to pay attention to your human skin to keep it alive and happy, and keep it clean too to not miss out on any convenient mating opportunities. We would like to bring up something that has been a significant issue with the three-week human vacation program. We all know that the experience of possessing a human body and then ripping off its skin to feel its nerve endings being roughly caressed by the oxygen-rich atmosphere of their tiny planet is one of the most intoxicating feelings known to all across the entirety of the Conceptiverse. But we must make an important announcement. Do not, under any circumstances, rip off your skin when possessing a human body. Doing this will almost always result in the human's death which will result in an early end to your three-week vacation and, according to your signed lobotomy contract, will also void your right to a refund due to the early death of your mammalian effigy. Seriously, don't rip off your skin. No matter how tempting it may be, we promise there are a multitude of other ways to find entertainment in your new, wonderful, and fantastic human body.
Learning is exhausting. Let's take a break. Thank you for choosing Lobotomy. We are dedicated to eradicating consciousness across this and every universe. Did you know that lobotomy is not a reptile, nor is it a sphere or a slice of cheese? Lobotomy Incorporated is an organization. Revel in its beauty. Bathe thyself in its nourishing springs of unending hate. Don't forget this weekend we have a sale on, you guessed it, toaster. So many ways my followers weren't listening to me or respecting my boundaries, so I destroyed their planet yesterday. Ah, uh, that's rough, man. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Well, at least they learned their lesson. Please stand by for neural reprogramming to acclimate yourself to human society. Hey, is this Blorf? Yeah, yeah, it's Tom. Not much, not much. Hey, you remember that planet we destroyed the other day? So it, it turns out that planet was actually a reservation for endangered species? Oh my god, I know, right? Isn't that hilarious? No, 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 that's, that's all, that's all. I, I just thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Hey, anyways, I'll, I'll see you at the office party later. Just thought that might brighten up your day a bit. Yeah, you too, man. Take care. Can you fucking believe they're making us watch this? I know, it's fucking ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is... It's complete and utter insanity. Man, if I want to possess a human body in my own spare time, while I'm off of work, off of work, and then rip its fucking skin off to experience the ecstasy of its three-dimensional nerve endings touching the bare atmosphere of their sad fucking planet, that is absolutely within my rights as a tax-paying entity. Right? You know? Exactly. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. There it is. There it is. You're preaching to the choir, brother. You are preaching to the choir. You know the real reason they're doing this, right? Oh, of course, dude. It's the reviews. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, there are so many fucking entities out there that don't fucking... <laughs> that don't fucking understand that humans need their skin. You know, I mean, everybody knows that it feels incredible to rip their skin off when they're possessing a human body, right? Right. But hardly any of these entities know that the, the humans need skin. <laughs> I mean, that's why we've gotten so many, so many bad reviews for their vacation program. You know, I mean, I mean, you've you've got people possessing human bodies for three weeks. Uh, you know, a, a three-week paid vacation in a human body, and then, and then, you know, five minutes into it, they're on the ground, bleeding to death, usually surrounded by other screaming humans. They're so adorable. I know, right? But anyways, yeah, so, so the vacation is over the moment it starts, and then when they go to talk to a lobotomy associate, the first thing they hear is, no refund. Yep. Our reviews are in the gutters right now, man. Right now, our customer satisfaction is at... 43%. Jesus Christ. I know. I just wish they would be upfront about it, you know, instead of pretending like we all care about ethics. I mean, no, nobody cares about these fucking little meat bags flapping their little limbs around the middle of fucking nowhere. I mean, human beings aren't even conscious. Exactly. We proved it in laboratories. It's a scientific fact. <laughs> Hi, you fellas. Hi, boss. Hi, boss. What'd you boys think of the program? I thought it was excellent. Uh, same here, sir. Oh, absolutely. I am a changed man. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Well, I'll let you boys get back to it. I'm gonna grab some coffee while there's still some left. Take care, boss. Thank you, sir. <sighs> we hope you had a nice break.
Before we end our program, we are legally obligated to have you listen to a brief statement from me, the head of our Department of Human Culture and Resource Management. Hi everyone, my name is Mi. I actually wanted to take a second to discuss why we should have empathy for human beings. New studies suggest humans do... That's all the time we have. Thanks for staying with us. Be sure to tune in next week for more Natural Human Facts. Brought to you by Lobotomy Incorporated.